Hello everybody, Bradley here, and welcome into Civili, I mean Pokemon Yellow. It is summertime, and it's 2021, and we've been dealing with COVID for just such a long time, and everyone just needs a break. Everyone just needs something fun, something exciting, something nostalgic, taking us back to a better time without a pandemic. So what we're gonna do is once a week throughout the summer to kind of lighten things up on the channel a bit, to have a little bit of fun, to go on a different adventure, together we are going to play through the entirety of pokemon yellow the first ever video game i I, th I think it might be the first video game i ever played either way it's the first ever video game i have ever fallen in love with it's just such a fun it's just pokemon it's pokemon you guys it's freaking pokemon let's hop in all right pikachu let's go baby uh, we are going to start a new game here oh boy our adventure begins hello there welcome to the world of pokemon my name is oak People call me the Pokemon Prof because we don't have enough characters in 1997. Apologies for the voices, by the way. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. Sorry, that was loud in my ears. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. That sounds a lot like those dog cages things, the, the, you know, or like the Greyhound races. This sounds bad. Is this game, is this game certified? Is this game allowed? I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Well, you know, my name is Bradley, but if you know, you know, we are going to go, as always, with Floki O here, I think. Floki, yeah, Floki Onvarsen is not going to fit, but hey, you know what? Floki O coming in hot from Viborg FF, ready to tear it up in the... How do I get a space bar? How do I... Pokemon, how do I get a space bar? Is it this? Oh, it's the blank! Oh, it's the blank. Genius. This is before this game came out, before they invented the underneath. <laughs> Here we go. Flokio in the Pokemon universe. Ten years old, ready to go on our adventure. Right, so your name is Flokio. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Who? Which babies have rivals? Everyone in the comments right now, type in who your rival was when you were a baby. You know, okay, I'm tempted to go with Gary here. There are two rival names in the Pokemon universe that are above all of them. Gary is number one, and then Barry from like the Diamond Pearl Platinum universe is number two. The two perfect, I think there's something about the Airy, right? Like if the next rival was named Canary, I think that'd be perfect. But you know what we're gonna do here? We have to make sure that we are channeling all of our rival energy into the correct places at all times. We are gonna go and name our rival Ellie, which I guess is going to be Gary's name in this Let's Play, but Ellie is going to be our rival. So Flokio, as a 10 year old, I imagine a Flokio versus Ellie fight when they are babies, when they are infants. That's right, I remember now, his name is Ellie. Exactly, that's exactly right. Your memory is not failing you at all. Flokio, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. Bold of you to assume I'm going to become a legend. I'm more than likely gonna fail at everything I do, suck at this game, and cry a lot. That's mostly what's gonna happen here. All right, we are in our, ooh, look at our bedroom. Holy smokes. We are being outfitted with only the best. We got a bed, can we sleep in it? Nah, what is this? Yo, it's a SNES! Oh, <laughs> uh, is that, what does that stand for? Super Nintendo Entertainment System is my guess. Oh my goodness. This game, I'm being aged. This was my first ever video game. I think it might have been like the Duck Hunter one. That was the only other one I remember playing that wasn't this. We're gonna turn on the PC here. Every Pokemon expert knows that you're gonna withdraw a potion at the beginning here. Only plebs miss the PC. So if you're new to Pokemon, where have you been? But also there's a potion here you should probably collect. Look at that, we got a TV. Where's, where's dad, mom? Or is this my sister? Who knows? Oh, it's mom. Right, all boys leave home. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. It said so on TV. Yo, I was watching the Real Housewives, and all their kids are lost in the woods somewhere. So you're more you're more than welcome to go and get lost with them. Who are you? I'm raising Pokemon too. When they get strong, they can protect me. Cool. That's exactly right. Oh, I, I'm not used to the, the the textures loading as we go around. Hello, friend. Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items in Pokemon as data via PC. Oh, memory cards are sick, dude. Have you heard of a USB drive? Wowza. All right, what's up, dog? Who are you? Oh, it's Ellie. Yo, Flokio, Grams isn't around. I ran here because he said he had a Pokemon for me. Well, 
He's not here. He doesn't have a Pokemon for you. You are lame. Be gone, Ellie, you fool. Um, I know I know if we go up to the grass, that'll that'll get the story going here, but I want to say hi to everyone. Hi, Flokio. Ellie is out at Grandpa's lab. I don't want to talk to Ellie, see Ellie be near Ellie. He smells bad, and he sucks at Pokemon. Let's go in the grass. Uh oh! Found him! Hey, wait! It's dangerous! You're gonna give me a heart attack, Floki. That was close. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. Why don't they have short grass? Are those the little dots? Oh, it's a Pikachu. Professor Oak not messing around. He's chucking that Pokeball right away. Not even damaging the Pikachu. What a what a lad. He's got that BDE going on here. Look at him. Old man, like 10 seconds away from a heart attack. Just rocks up. Doesn't even injure him. Doesn't put him to sleep. Nothing. How do you say whew in like an oldie? That's my best. A Pokemon can appear any time in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for protection. Yeah, come with me. You'd think if I needed Pokemon for protection, they would have more robust security around the only two spaces of grass that exit this town. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Uh, Ellie, why are you here already? <laughs> can't even remember anything. What oak's a mess, ladies and gentlemen. I said for you. Okay, he can't remember. I never mind. I said for you to come by later. Ha! Ah, whatever. Just wait there. Look, Flokio, do you see that ball on the table? It's called a Pokeball. I know, we saw it. We saw it in a minute. We saw it like a minute ago in the battle. Come on, man. It holds a Pokemon inside. You may have it. Go on. Take it. Hey, Gramps. What about me? Be patient. Yeah, Ellie, calm down. It's okay, mate. The world doesn't revolve around you. You're the main character only in your own story. Oh, he's mad. Oh, whoa. That was a shove. Ref. Ref. Time out. Time out. Whoa, we're calling a T.O. here. That's a penalty. That's a foul. That's a red card. Ellie snatched the Pokemon. What a hero. What a legend. Is this what rivals are? Is this what rivals do? Do they, do they, what is, I was going to say, bemean each other. Do they demean each other? Do they shove each other? Only Ellie would stoop to these lows. I don't even know what the text on the screen is. I don't even know what's happening other than Ellie's a twerp. Ellie's a jerk. Ellie's a pompous prat. You can have it. I caught it in the wild and it's not, it's not tame yet. It's not tame yet. He's giving a 10 year old an untamed Pokemon. This Pokemon's not even tame. This thing is going to kill me. Do you want to give it a nickname? I didn't think about this. So we're going to do a quick cut until I found something clever. You know what? I'm going to name this after VB Hall of Fame member, community extraordinaire, gift sub legend, the person who might be the most excited for the Pokemon Let's Play. We're going to name Pikachu after Kyle here. Kyle J is now Pikachu. He's untamed. He can't be tamed. He listened to Miley Cyrus the other day. He's good to go. But Kyle, Kyle J is our Pikachu. If you don't know who Kyle J is, hit up the Discord. Link in the description. Just a hero and a legend. Does cheer for the Toronto Maple Leafs, though. So we, we do hold that against him. But otherwise, things are great with Kyle. All right, we're going to save here quick. Look, let's see how saving works. Would you like to save the game? Yeah. The older file will be erased. Yes. The older file was me playing for two minutes to make sure this worked. Flokio saved the game. Holy smokes. We're a genius. We're geniuses. If a wild Pokemon, oh, if a wild Pokemon appears, you, your Pokemon could fight against it. Afterward, go on to the next town. All right, we got this. Let's roll. Oh God, this guy. Wait, Flokio. Let's check out our Pokemon. Let's shut up, Ellie, you idiot, you fool. All right, we're going to beat the out of Ellie now. That's our new plan. That's our new role in life is to bamboozle Ellie. Look at him. Look at his smug. Look at the Pokeballs. Oh, they're green. How cool. Oh, he's got an Eevee. This is sick. This is so much better than starting with like Charmander, Squirtle, and Bar Bulbasaur. I think we start... I don't, I don't think we start with them. I think we get them in this game though. I can't remember Pokemon Yellow specifically. I do think though that we get uh, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander at some point through our journeys from Jenny, the police officer. Uh, let's Thundershock. You know what? We could growl, but that's lame. That's for losers. We're going to Thundershock. Yeah, how do you like that, Eevee? Oh, they're going to tackle. All right. This is before abilities, so we don't have the static ability. Whoa! Kyle, you idiot. How do you miss? How do you miss? It comes out of your cheeks. The electricity comes out of your cheeks. Can we paralyze them? Oh, no! I was going to use the potion. This is going well, ladies and gentlemen. I thought we'd survive that and could use the potion. This Eevee's a tank. Rip. All right, Ellie. <laughs> 
damn it. This is embarrassing. All right, Ellie is up one to nil. One nil on the on the record in this game <laughs> for keeping track of this. Yeah, am I great or what? No, you're a turd and I'm bad at this game. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Loki, oh, Gramps, smell you later. Yeah, okay, well, we've just been embarrassed by Ellie. We're gonna have to recover. What? Would you look at that? It's odd, but it appears that your Pikachu just likes Pokeballs. Yeah, it's because he just got spanked by Eevee. You should just keep it with you. That should make it happy. You can talk to it and see how it feels about you. Uh, probably pretty mad. Oh, he's mad. Yeah, he's grumpy. He's, he's, he's back turned. He's not happy. Okay. Do you have anything cool? He's an aide. He's probably also an aide. Yeah, they have the same lines. Are you two twins? Are you guys not creative at all? Think of something new. All right, so we do have our Pikachu now, though. We do have Kyle J. He's still level five, which is unfortunate, but we can go into the wild. Do we have any Pokeballs? No, we don't have any Pokeballs. I do like this backpack with only one slot, Clutch. So I guess we're just in the wild now. Oh, and the color changes. This is sick. Oh, here we go. First battle. Hopefully we can win this one. Hopefully this one's a better, yeah, here we go. We got Pidgey. So Pidgey, oh, is Pidgey a normal type? I think Pidgey might be a normal type in this game. Yeah, Pidgey is a normal type in this game. No, it's a flying type. Never mind. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. To be fair to anyone who's watching this, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just clicking buttons and having fun. All right, that's a level five Pidgey that I wish we could have caught because level five is a high level for this area. But 39 experience is pretty chill. Now, it is a little bit trippy that we can't see the experience as, as it goes up. That's not ideal. So we're going to have to be careful here. We don't want uh, we don't want old Kyle J to faint anymore. Remember, Pokemon don't die, they faint. Because this is a game for children. Whoa, what a hit. Kyle J is bouncing back. After that after that big defeat to Ellie, Kyle J is, is, is cruising back. Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. It's a convenient shop. It's a convenient shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. We got another potion. Hey, hey, bruv. Thanks, mate. I like getting free stuff. We are going to try and go through this without death. Oh, hey, friend. Are you a trainer? Nah, I don't think so. I don't think we hit trainers this early. To be fair, after, after Ellie uh, beat us, I'm not sure I'm ready for trainers. I am ready for Kyle to be level 6, though. I think if Kyle's level 6, we'll, we'll fare better next time. I also do feel bad for just like destroying this rat Rattata's self-esteem. This is not great. Ooh, that critical hit feels good. Unnecessary, but it feels good. A level seven Pidgey. Wow, I want to catch this. I think this might be a potion battle. I think this might be a potion battle. Oh yeah, easy, easy. Let's practice. Let's practice not losing. There we go. Oh boy, that looked, that looked cool. But if it does more than half the damage anyway, I don't think it matters. Oh, it didn't. Okay, cool. Oh, not sand attack. Okay, cool. Because sand attack, uh, it ruins your accuracy, and that would have been terrible. Man, I want that level 7 Pidgey. Kyle J grew to level 6. Kyle J learned Tail Whip. All right, so we are hitting up. Is this Viridian City here? Oh, come on. Okay, walk. There we go. Putting one foot in front of the other is very difficult sometimes. Let's head to the Poké Center here, and let's heal up. For those of you who've never played Pokemon before, the Poke Center is super cool. You come in here, it's like free healthcare. You come in here, welcome to the Pokemon Center. We heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. And then boom, bada bing, bada boom, Pikachu jumps on the little ledge and then huzzah, your Pokemon are healed again. Genius. We got a Chansey in the background. I got my morning coffee. How y'all doing? Let me know in the comments. How are y'all doing? All right, Pokemon are fighting fit. What does this guy want? This guy looks cool. You can use that PC. Okay, well... Cool. We're not going to use the PC, but that's good to know. That is good to know. I think we need to get something from the Pokemon Mart. You want to know about the two kinds of Caterpillar Pokemon? Sure. I feel like this guy only knows about the two kinds of Caterpillar Pokemon. Caterpie has no poison, but Weedle does. Watch out for its poison sting. Cool. Thanks, man. Hey, you came from Pallet Town. We did. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Hell yeah. Flokio got Oak's parcel. All right, we're on a mission. James Bond style, we are on a mission. We will explore once we deliver this package to Professor Oak. So for those of you who have never played Pokemon, you can kind of skip all the grass on the way back down, except for this little, oh, no, 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 we can't skip this one. 
You can't skip the last little bit. Now I'm gonna do any kind of training off screen just to speed the let's play up a little bit, but here we go. We got one more battle. One more battle this episode against the Pidgey. We'll also probably cut out a lot of these like wild encounter battles just because you know, they're, it's lame to, 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 to cut into all of them all the time. There we go, level three Pidgey didn't even stand a chance. Didn't even stand a chance. I do like how every city has its own color palette. That's super cool. All right, Oak, I got your package, mate. I've got your package. Make sure you say thank you. Oh, Pinocchio, how is my old Pokemon? Well, he hasn't fainted since he fainted in your laboratory like 10 minutes ago. Well, it seems like a, oh, I don't know what I just said. You must be a talented as a Pokemon trainer. What, do you have something for me? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. The nice lady at the shop gave it to us. I accepted a parcel from strangers just for you. Also, can we talk about that shopkeeper giving that parcel to a 10 year old? Like, hey, you can deliver this for me, right? Oh, this guy again. Ellie's back on his high horse. Gramps, my Pokemon has grown stronger. Check it out. Shut up. Ah, Ellie, good timing. I need to ask both of you to do something for me. I just got your parcel, man. I, you owe me a favor, not the other way around. On the desk, there's my invention. Pokedex, <laughs> just not a Pokedex, just Pokedex. It automatically, it automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high tech encyclopedia. Wait until he gets the internet, man. Wait until he gets the internet. So we got the Pokedex now. We can keep track of all this stuff we're doing. On this journey, we can now write down everything that happens. But I'm too old and I can't do it. Dude, you just caught a Pikachu without hitting it for damage or anything. You're a, you're a genius. You're a genius. We're going on a trip though. Leave it all to me. Shut up, Ellie. You are going to, you know what? You know what, Ellie? We are going to beat you. We are going to destroy you. We are going to catch more Pokemon than you. He's going to go borrow a town map from his sister. I'll tell her not, I'll tell her not to lend you one. Well, I'm going to go and uh, grab one anyway, Ellie. Watch this. Power move. Ellie says not to go talk to his sister. We're gonna go talk to his sister. Do you give me anything? Nah, I thought these guys gave you something. Am I mistaken? Maybe that's in the fire red leaf green version. All right, let's go talk to Gary's sister. Maybe we can get like a Ginny Weasley situation going on here. Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Here, this will help you. Flokio got a town map. Does mom have something? Hey mom, we're leaving. We're going on a, on a journey to an indefinite amount of places for an undetermined amount of time. They'll dislike you. Well, I'm gonna drive them as hard. Oh, she's just gonna heal us up. All right, so she's like a human Pokemon Center. Aw, oh, Mom. Thank you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. All right, so that's good. Let's head back to town. I think we can cut up to town and we will continue our Pokemon adventure from Viridian City. We are back in Viridian City and it is time to look around. Let's see what we can get in the Mart. Can we buy Pokeballs yet? I do want to catch one of them Pidgeys. We do have Brock coming up as the first gym leader and that's going to be a little bit of a problem. So we can buy Pokeballs here. We'll buy 10 of them to start. I do want to catch most of the Pokemon in the game because I find it fun. Uh, let's get a couple antidotes just because we are going into the woods shortly and there are Weedles there with poison and all that stuff. And then let's grab... Oof. I can't really afford these. We can always run back to the Pokemon Center. Let's grab a couple of potions just to have them. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, so now we're stocked up. We got the goods. We've got the goods. We can leave now. Thanks, shopkeep. Didn't even give me a discount, though, for delivering that package, which is a little lame. I think if you go... I think there's a battle around here. I also think there's an item around here. I'm trying to remember all this from the last time I played. I think there's... Oh, there's a cut now. Oh, there's a potion. Okay, so we did find a potion. There's a potion up here, but there's also a cut barrier. All right. Oh, we have to actually teach our Pokemon cut now. Oh, how privileged we are. So let's look around. I do know there is a wild set of Pokemon in the grass. I do know if you go above this set of grass that you get into a battle with Ellie again. I think there's Nidoran here. Is there Mankey? I don't know. I'm gonna cut till uh, we, we do that battle with Ellie though. Just kidding, we're gonna come back here. There are Nidoran here. I don't think we're gonna use a Nidoran on our squad, but it's just worth mentioning they are here. I wanna say Mankey is around in Pokemon Yellow. And Mankey is a G. We want a Mankey on our team. So I think I'm gonna look around for a Mankey. But for now, in between that, we're just gonna be leveling up Kyle J to an appropriate level. There, level seven, look at that. And that way when we face Ellie again, we, we won't uh, come out on the losing side this time. Spearow also existing in the area. I probably should be catching these to fill out the Pokedex, but alas, I would rather get the experience right now. Fearow is a fun Pokemon though. 
Firo's a good time for sure. I really want to say there's Mankey around, man. We are going to find one. I believe in us. 12 seconds later. I think the answer is no. I don't think there's any Mankey. Kyle J is level eight now, but this Nidoran is level four. So let's see if we can Thunder Wave it and paralyze it a little bit. And then let's see if we can catch it. Hopefully a paralyzed Nidoran will be a little easier to catch. We still haven't found the elusive Mankey. Maybe I'm not remembering things correctly. Maybe there is no Mankey around. That's totally fine though. Maybe it could be in the woods. It could be in the woods that I'm just not remembering. Come on, dude. You are paralyzed. Stop being this. Look, like a Professor Oak rolls up and catches a level five Pikachu without it, even an effort in an area where you're not even meant to find Pikachu. All right, we're gonna have to Thundershock it and hope it doesn't die. It probably will though. Oh, it didn't. Okay, cool. Cool. Now we have, okay, this is the best shot. Nidoran is being a turd. Come on. Yes! Our first Pokemon caught is Nidoran. Look at that. Nidoran was caught. I mean, getting a Pidgey is also helpful because we do need to have something to teach Fly later. Maybe Charizard can learn Fly. I'm not even sure. Nidoran Poison Pin. Its large ears are always kept upright. If it senses danger, it will attack with a poisonous sting. Do we want to give a nickname to Nidoran? I don't think so. I don't think Nidoran is going to be part of our team long term. I'm trying to map out the team, and if we do the Pokemon Yellow thing, you got Pikachu, you got Venusaur, you got Charizard, you got Blastoise. Dragonite, if we want to grab the Dratini in the Safari Zone, so that's five, so we only have the one extra spot. Nidoran's a fun choice to put there, because then you get Nidoking pretty early on, because you do find the Moonstone pretty much right away, so you do end up with Nidoking like by the third gym or something. On the whole, I think no, although we will keep it on the team for now, but I don't think it's a permanent member, so it's not getting a nickname. Oh, we found the Mankey! We did it. Okay, Mankey might be part of our team. I think Mankey's a super fun Pokemon to have. It's like a permanent member. Obviously, Nidoran can stick around for a while because we're not going to get all of our other Pokemon for a little bit here, especially the Dratini. But man, Mankey's super fun. So let's go and let's make sure we don't have a lot of Pokeballs left. So let's switch this back and let's, let's paralyze it. And then we'll train up the Mankey a little bit. Then we'll face Ellie and then this video will end. That's how we're doing this video. The Revenge of Floki Anvarsen. All right, so he's paralyzed now. We're good to go. Things are looking good. We found the Mankey. Yes. We did it. Oh boy, new Pokedex data will be added for Mankey. The Pig Monkey. An agile Pokemon that lives in trees. It angers easily and will not hesitate to attack anything. Do you want to give a nickname to the Mankey? Yes, let's think of a nickname. I don't know why this is coming to me. I don't know where I'm getting this from. Maybe it's from like Leroy Jenkins, but I think Leroy. We're gonna name the we're gonna name the Mankey Leroy. I think Leroy is a cool name for this Mankey. So we got Kyle J and Leroy as our official squad so far. Now the Mankey, you know what? This is gonna be a fluid process. Maybe by the time we get to the end of the game, there's other cool Pokemon we want to use on our squad instead of the Mankey. But for now, for now, we got Leroy on the squad. We're going to heal up. We're going to train him up a bit. And then we are going to fight Ellie in the revenge of the revenge of the Floki. We did find a level five Pidgey here. So I think I am going to try and catch this bad boy. Just have a little bit of variety on the squad for now. We are going to need something eventually to teach fly to. I think having a flying Pokemon on the squad when we head through the forest here might be worth it. So we're going to catch this Pidgey up. Not, not nicknaming it or anything. Just putting it on the team for now. Might as well have a, a decent squad while we're here. No, we don't want to give a nickname to the Pidgey. Come on. We are now ready to get our revenge against Ellie, our rival, since we were a baby. We have Leroy and Kyle J up to levels 8 and 9, respectively, which I think is a good level. And we, we boosted up Pidgey and Nidoran to level 6 a little bit. We went and did a little bit of training. Not, nothing too crazy or anything. Um, I don't think anyone learned any cool moves while we were doing that training. So we are here. Leroy up top, which is the Mankey. Then we have Kyle J in second with Pidgey and Nidoran. Just kind of their, their surplus to requirements. They're there. It's good to have a squad of Pokemon that you can throw in at any time, but I, there's got to be an item here. What is the point of this existing if there's not an item? There's no item? There's not an item. Game Freak, are you messing with me right now? There's not, a, there's not an item. There's not an item there. There is simply not an item, but here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Flokio. You're going to the Pokemon League. Yeah, yeah, right now. We're just not even going to get a gym badge. Forget it. You probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Oh, we're battling. We're going. 
Battle number two. The Ellie gets smushed Boogaloo. So he's got a Spearow. That Spearow's level nine. We put out the wrong Pokemon for this. We, we definitely should have started with <laughs> Kyle J. You could tell that I didn't do any research ahead of time. I just remembered he was here. I did not remember what kind of Pokemon he had. All right, we got Thundershot going. Let's get this. Let's smack him down. Let's smack this Spearow down. Let's get him out of the skies. Oh, and he's paralyzed. We didn't even need to use Thunder whatever wave. You silly goose. You can, you can, you can lower my attack, but you can't lower my lethal electrical lightning stuff. All right, so he's dead. Spearow's gone. See ya. Peace, bud. Uh, Ellie is about to use Eevee. Now I think, now I think we get... No, we keep Kyle in. We keep Kyle in for the paralyze. I don't know if this dude has a paralyze here. I don't know if the computer is that sophisticated. We keep Kyle in for the paralyze here. Eevee's only level eight too, so we are roughly the same level. Yeah, so now we get Mankey in here though. We want we want Leroy to come in and have a good time. We want to see Leroy. You know, he's gonna be part of the team. He's gonna be part of the squad. We we have faith in Leroy. Uh, and we want to make sure that we're putting him to good use. He only knows Scratch. He's kind of a one-trick pony right now. And he doesn't really do even a good job. It's, his Scratch is more like a tickle. It's more like a tickle. Now, these tail whips are terrifying, though, because eventually he just hits with a tackle and then just murders Leroy. Man, he's... <laughs> everything's just failing. He used X, but it failed because Ellie's a failure. There it is. Is that it? Is that it, Ellie? Bring it, Ellie. Come on, you were on your high horse after that first showdown, but now we're back, baby. We are back, Leroy and Kyle J in the house. Aw, oh, you just lucked out. No, we are better than you in every way, shape, and form, and we were more handsome. And, and your sister likes us more. I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. Uh, beat them in a Pokemon battle, you idiot. You should quit dawdling and move on. I just beat you and you're still trash talking us you at least did the trash talking after you beat us but now that we beat you anyways that is going to do it for the first episode here of our pokemon yellow let's play if you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video these videos will be coming out i think weekly if you guys are really loving them maybe twice a week feel free to hit that like button hit that subscribe button let me know what you thought in the comments thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one